everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. So today's video is a latest obsessions, like latest favorites video. And I have to say that beauty gurus, that's what they used to be called, the influencers, back in the day used to record monthly favorites videos. And I used to record these quite often as well. Now I'm kind of glad these did tend to phase out because I almost felt as a viewer that I was being kind of subconsciously persuaded to be purchasing new products all the time and sharing them on camera with everyone. And first of all, some people don't wanna clutter up their space. They don't wanna be purchasing new products every single month. Secondly, that's expensive <laughs> to always be on top of the newest and latest like makeup and skincare trends, etc. So I like, I think these a little bit better and I've been seeing these float around a little bit more recently as opposed to specific monthly favorites videos. So I have a little bit from every category in this video. I have makeup, I have some random accessories, I have food, I have movie favorites. So I thought this was a good encompass of what I've been loving during this pre-quarantine, like right before pre-quarantine happened and quarantine time, I thought uh, it's a good representation. A quick disclaimer before we start, I've been wearing my hair down in the past few videos and I've wanted to take a break from putting some heat on it, so I did throw it up in a bun, although I do think it looks kind of odd from this angle because you don't see any hair, but it's just back here and it's just a good excuse to not put heat on it and also it might need a washing and I don't want to wash it today, so that's why it's bad. Before getting on into the video, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, the notification bell, and the thumbs up button. And of course, all my social media links will also be listed down below if you wanna follow me on Insta, etc. because <laughs> that's pretty much all I have as social media. Go ahead and do so. All right, all right. So the first product or item that is my latest obsession is my Alphalete Men's Capital Zip Up Hoodie. I think that's the right name. I don't know in what order those words go, but this was actually a few launches ago, Alphalete um, released these long hoodies. And I believe it came in gray and black for sure. And I can't remember the third color for men's, um, but the material is so freaking soft inside. Oh my God. I will read you guys what it's made out of just so you guys know. 55% cotton and 45% polyester. I actually wore this in one of my videos back earlier in the winter months, which I will link up over here. And I love this sweater. First of all, I kind of call it like my pajama, nice snuggly sweater because I don't really wear it that often out of the house. And you might be thinking, Clarissa, why are you purchasing items to literally just wear in the house? But because this is a light color, it tends to show dirt and stains really easily. So I'm very like mindful of what I'm doing when I'm wearing this sweater. So if I'm working with like strawberries and blueberries in the kitchen or tomato sauce, like it's really annoying when it a little bit gets on this because then I have to go stain remove it right away. So it's more of like my chillaxing while I edit and I'm a little chilly sweater or if I'm watching a movie sweater. I absolutely love this item. I am a hoodie hoarder. I love hoodies, whether they're cropped or big oversized ones. I will never have enough. I know that Athlete also released a woman's cropped version, which I did miss out on purchasing just because I already had the men's one. I didn't need the woman's one too, but that one came in white, black, and gray. And I believe they still have a few left of black on their website. I will link it down below if they still do. Um, and if you could get your hands on it, that'd be great. Like they are so soft. You could style it really cute with some outfits, you know, a black cropped tank, some joggers. You can wear some denim shorts in a tank. Have this as like oversized fit with a hat. You could do a lot with this chillax vibe. The next item I've been loving is a beauty product. And if you can't already tell, I've been wearing false eyelashes. I know you guys, you know my secret now for the past, I don't know how many videos, they make your eyes look so much more like bolder and brighter and bigger. And I wear such natural ones. Like you can tell they're there, but they're not crazy fluffy and, and voluminous and black. I know in this quarantine, a lot of girls that usually get lash extensions are probably gonna feel like naked mole rats when they um, finally lift these rules up to be able to leave your house again, because the upkeep for that, I just didn't like. Um, you had to spend a lot of money to maintain those. So I figured, why don't I just stock up on some lashes and I can take them off when I go to sleep. So I don't purchase anything crazy expensive when it comes to these. I know there's some brands out there that have like $40 for a set of lashes, which is just absolutely crazy, but I know they're made out of like mink and other things like that. I just go with such a basic drugstore lash. So this one's actually from the dollar store, Dollarama to be specific. And that's like a dollar tree here in Canada. If you aren't familiar with it, it actually says right here that it's uh, $3, but this comes with five sets. And if you take really good care of them, like each set, each time you wear them, you really can get a good amount of use out of these. I try to at least wear these four or five times before I chuck them in the trash. 
So this is by the brand Ariposa Sapphire False Lash and the style number is 004 Devil's Kiss. Um, nice and long, but also kind of natural and the lashes are spread out quite nice. So I really, really do like these. And if I'm not wearing these, I'm wearing my Ardell Naturals and I think it's 005. I'll link it up on the screen. I'll also put it down below as the Amazon link. And uh, you can also get them in a bigger value pack like this. And you know, financially it makes some more sense sometimes when you know you're gonna go through them. So I've been loving wearing these and just skipping the step of eyeshadow recently. All right, next I got a lip combo favorite. And for years and years, my favorite lip combo was Max Whirl Lip Liner and then Max Lipstick in Velvet Teddy with Max Hue Lipstick just dabbed in the middle with some random gloss um, on top of all that. But recently I've been getting into more of like a natural rosy color as opposed to a nudish brown. And that's currently what I'm wearing on my lips right now and have been for the past few videos. So I first lined my lips with the MAC Lip Liner in Boldly Bare. This color doesn't quite match exactly the lipstick I'm going to hold up, but it's close enough in my collection. So that's what I have been using. Then I go in with Max Lipstick in Brave, which is this rosy light mauve color. This is a satin finish, so it is a little bit more pigmented. So instead of drawing on the full coat, I kind of dab it on and then swish my lips around kind of just to spread out the product. And then I'll go on top with the Hue Lipstick by MAC and it's a glaze. And this is a lot more sheer or like a frosty finish. So I actually pat this right in the middle. And then after that, I put on my Morphe Lip Gloss in Flower Crown, which is just a nude, it's nothing crazy amazing. It's just a very generic nude gloss. It's almost like a nude clear. It's not super, super pigmented. I've been talking about the MAC Lipstick in Hue a lot lately. It was in my previous empties videos, which I will also link up on the screen here if you haven't seen it. So right now that's my perfect lip combo. All right, so the next item is eyewear. And these are actually blue light reflecting glasses. I hope I'm saying that in the right order. Um, I've been wearing these for the past year, I wanna say, and my boyfriend actually got me into these. These ones are actually just purchased off Amazon. They are a clear frame and glass as well, obviously, and you could tell my um, lights are kind of reflecting off the lens there. And once you put them on, you'll see there's a little bit of an orange tinge. So it basically turns whatever white light you're looking at, so whether that's your phone screen or your laptop screen, it'll kind of make it an orangey color. And there's a lot of like health benefits to this, etc. But what I've noticed is I'm able to fall asleep a little bit quicker at night um, if I am on some electronics before bed and have a better quality of sleep with wearing these at night. So I think I put these on at about eight o'clock or so, kind of when I'm starting to wind down. If I am still doing a lot of editing though, I don't because these do kind of put me in another like environment. I definitely have like an orange sunset-y look and feel to the space I'm in while wearing these. They're also super inexpensive. These are unisex and I think they were like 30 bucks Canadian and they've lasted me a decent amount of time. So a lot of companies have been, you know, bringing out their version of a blue light reflecting glass um, recently. I feel like you would never have heard of this a few years ago. People may have even thought it was a gimmicky idea, but you know what? They're pretty freaking good, I have to say. There will be a link down below if you wanna check those out as well. The next item is a jewelry item, and this is actually a necklace that my mom gave me recently. Um, the pendant actually more specifically so. And she had a little bit of gold jewelry from when I was younger, and uh, she brought it out recently and said, did you wanna look through some of this? And I was like, I want this one. This one's super cute. So it's on, I think it's an 18 inch chain, gold chain. The gold pendant is kind of like a coin you can hear that there. And it has the Pisces symbol on it, which obviously I'm a March 2nd baby, so I am a water symbol. And I've been layering this with my other couple necklaces, and I just love it. I'm usually not into super chunky jewelry, so this one's perfect for the dainty um, side of me. But I do think I wanna go to a little bit of a longer chain, so it does sit nicer on my neck, paired with my other two necklaces I normally wear. All right, we got some more eyewear here. Now, these sunglasses I had hauled a couple months ago. I will also throw that link up on here. I feel like that's all I've been saying this video is, I'll throw this link and that link and this link. I'm just really advertising my videos on my channel here. But they are the key sunglasses. I'm pretty sure they're called the high key sunglasses in the ombre. They are stunning. I used to have these in all black, but I love the ombre of these so much more. They just fit my face really well and they go with literally every outfit. Um, and I got these on sale, so I was really happy about that. I've been wearing them a lot lately on my walks. 
I love this look. It is such a vibe. All right, this one might seem a little bit odd, but the next thing I'm gonna show as the latest obsession is actually like a food tray. Well, that's what we call it, but I'm pretty sure these are like coffee table trays, like they're for show. But my boyfriend's mom for Christmas got uh, my boyfriend and I these food trays because every time we bring our food down to the basement at night, we're like juggling a bajillion things in our hand and it's like, one day, one day we're gonna drop everything. <laughs> so these have been so nice. They are such an aesthetic too. So there's this one, love the neutral tones. And then I don't know if this part came with it or if she like cut this piece of fabric out herself and put it in, but this um, provides it from slipping. So we just bring this down, place it on the couch and we have like a little eating tray um, at the same time. So, but loving that. Want to show you the other one real quick. So this one, the handles are on the side and they are like metal as opposed to the other ones being wooden and attached. This is a little bit of a darker tone. It's a little bit dirty. You see some like hot sauce stain there, but yeah, super cute. I actually think these are from HomeSense. I feel like you could get these off Wayfair or pretty much anywhere. So such a useful, essential piece that I've now realized we've needed in our lives this whole time. All right, moving on to food favorites. So our favorite food, I'm saying R as if he's with me in this video. What Kieran and I have been eating a lot lately is Timbit birthday cake cereal. And if you're not a Canadian, you probably don't know about this Timbit unless you visit it enough times to know because Tim Hortons hasn't always had this type of Timbit. So it basically tastes like a cookie dough vanilla-y Timbit and then there's colorful sprinkles on it and it's glazed. Honestly, I could do without the sprinkles, but they came out with a Timbit cereal birthday cake and then they have another one being chocolate glazed for the chocolate glaze lovers out there. And this cereal is absolutely phenomenal. We got it at Costco and it's honestly, the macros aren't even that bad. So what we'll do is we'll do like half multigrain Cheerios in the morning and then half of these. So amazing, I love these. I could just eat them like chips watching a show. They are so delicious. Um, I would rate them like a, eight out of 10 for the cereal category. When I'm not eating oatmeal with my flavored protein in it, I'm eating that cereal. And another favorite has been a condiment. And recently Kieran had found this dressing, I guess, or condiment sauce a few months ago. And it's the Frank's Red Hot like sauces, but this one is for buffalo. It's buffalo wings. So this one is absolutely delicious. Um, my nose runs a lot. I don't know, I just have an issue with it running. Obviously like everyone's nose runs in the winter time, et cetera, but even more so when I have spicy things. So I almost have to miss out on spicy items a lot of the time because the spice level just makes my nose run too much and then I don't enjoy my food as much. This is like the perfect amount of sauce. Like it's mild, like it's in between mild and medium. It's just the perfect amount for me. So I can douse this across my food so much more and not feel like my nose is running to the floor. This isn't the cheapest though, so I do recommend getting it when it's on sale. Um, and I also, we don't like this lid. This is a no-no um, because it makes it really difficult to like pour. So what we have been doing is taking the black dabber lid that comes with like the extra hot or the hot sauce Red Franks bottles and we switch the lids so you can control how much you want to put on so much better than this one being able to like pour it on. The next beverage or like product I want to show, I don't actually have the physical carton to show you because we've been drinking different um, milk alternatives recently because I haven't had this one at the store we've been grocery shopping at, but my favorite like milk alternative beverage has been the Silk Cashew Milk. I want to say it's vanilla and it tastes so good. Oh my God, putting that as like a creamer in your coffees or putting it with your cereal or literally you name it. It's so delicious. Again, it's kind of expensive. So I'd recommend getting it as a treat for yourself or when it's on sale. Or if that is like an essential to you to get that kind of milk, freaking go for it. It is so delicious. But I just wanted to give that a mention. I'll hopefully have a picture somewhere up on the screen here that deliciousness. My last latest obsession for food in like the food category would have to be Delicio spicy chicken pizza with the rising crust. Oh my gosh, it is so good. It has been my go-to pizza or like Friday night, like have fun food, don't track macros or any of that for the past like month. I wanna say four weeks, every Friday I've had this pizza. It's delicious. If anyone is gonna tell me that there's another brand that tops this, you're wrong. So the spice level, again, nothing crazy. I can put a little bit of my sauce on it and it's still good. Or you can have it without, 
whatever you want. Had to give that a mention. It is definitely like a nine out of 10 on the pizza scale. All right, so the last couple obsessions or favorites in this video is going to be a movie series. Actually, it's gonna be two movie series. We haven't been watching a ton of TV shows since we finished Ozark and we've been watching the Michael Jordan basketball documentary. Those are kind of it for TV shows. So the ones I really wanted to share as an obsession are the Iron Man series, which I have recently watched for the first time ever. I know where have I been living under a rock. My boyfriend introduced me to that one. Very good series. And then Batman, um, the second one in the series is my favorite. So I watched that one recently too. It's funny because I went to film and television school and we covered, you know, The Dark Knight Rises a few times in class and I just didn't know a lot about it. Like I, I tried watching it at school with Kieran actually and I couldn't get into it so we stopped watching it. We re-watched it recently and it's amazing. I wanna say it's like an eight out of 10 or a nine out of 10 on the movie scale. And that sums up this video. I know it was a little bit of a more lengthy video, but I did have a good amount to share with you guys what I've been loving in this quarantine time. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. Thanks so much for watching.